Hey guys, Cindy out here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, had some rough days due to weather, but hey, that's life. My desk is a complete mess because I've been working on some um, videos. But guess what? It is time for Pick 10, Pick 10, Pick 10. Now, on these Pick 10s, I have taken some out that I thought were just like, eh, we don't want to do that. And I've added some really interesting ones in. So this should be different. Um, now, I've gotten some feedback on the length of the last video. And that basically was an uncut version. What I would do is I would go get my supplies. I'd shut the camera off, go get my supplies, come back, do the prompt, shut it off. You know, that kind of thing. But I've gotten some feedback, and, and you guys really like working along with me. So we're going to keep that going. Um, definitely leave me some comments. You know, this is going to be an uncut version. So you're stuck with me for the duration. All right, so let's start out with our first pick 10. Actually, let's get our page first. Oh, here's the colors, the autumn colors. That was different, that was a different page. All right, where are we? We are right here. So let me just take, I got some wax paper here from my last project. And let me throw this other one over here, just, just because we can. All right. All right. So let's see what we've got. Let's start out with our first one. Number one is Doodle. Okay. I can do that. I don't want that there. That's annoying me. I can do that. So let's Doodle. Let me move this stuff out of the way so I can actually do it. And you know what? I've got leftover paint here from the last project. So I'm going to Doodle with that. Doesn't say how. It just says Doodle, right? All right. So. This is just, like I said, leftover paint from a last project, so we're just going to doodle. What we're doodling, I don't know. I am just instinctively doing whatever I feel like doing. You guys might hear my fan and you might hear my air conditioner going. Um, that's just because it's icky outside. It's very humid out, which I'm good with that. You know, it is what it is. Everybody's like, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm just doodling. I just decided I wanted these little like ray things. I don't know what they are. just want some circles. Why? Because. Mm, All right, so we did some doodles. Yay! Hear the crowd. Hear the crowd roar. Yay! All right, so there's number one. Number two is, let's see, let's see, stars. You know what? I think I have, let me think, let me think, let me think. I'm pretty sure I have, is it in here? Do, 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 I have a gold. Hmm. It's not in here. It's not in here, Charlie. Let me look. I'm going to go look at my other washi tape. And this is going to dry while it's doing that. Let's see what we can find. I have a bin of washi tape over here. Stars! I found stars! Let's see if I can find any other stars. Um... I'm pretty sure I took one of the things of stars that's in my art journal bag. So, here we go. We have stars. Um, I try to use washi on every project, if not, you know, once or twice or three times. 
because I have so many things of washi. So let's use them, right? Why are we hoarding them? I've heard people, well, I got three bins of washi. That's wonderful. Do you use it? Well, not very often. Uh, why not? So yeah, I want to use my stars. I don't want that there. Let's put it here. So we're adding stars. Do I want to put them there? Let's put them right here. See? Don't overthink it. If it says stars, hmm, where do you have stars? Do you have a stencil? Do you have washi tape? Do you have some stickers? Um, do you want to draw them? All different kinds of ways to do stars. So there's my stars. That was number two. All right, let's see. Just gonna mix them up. I am not when I'm doing this, guys. I'm actually looking up at, at the camera, which is right there, um, or out the window. I don't even look at this thing. I'm just. This one says use a handmade stamp. Now, um, if you don't have a handmade stamp, that's fine. You don't have to use a handmade stamp. You can use any stamp you want. So just remember these prompts. If you don't have whatever the prompt says. Do it however you'd like to. Um, if you have a favorite stamp you want to use, use that. All right, I have to find my homemade stamps. Oh, let me see. Do I have any in here? See, this is the part you guys miss out on when I when I cut. Is me trying to find all this stuff. <laughs> all right, now. Um, Handmade stamp. I have a couple ways I could do this. I could use this. It's just a piece of cardboard that I stuck some foamies on. Oh, uh, let's see. That's not handmade, but that's just a piece of a flip flop. All right, I actually have some carved stamps. I just have to figure out where they are. Give me a second. They're down here with my stamps. I just have to figure out where, right here. Oh, oh, you get to hear me getting up and down too. That's not a, look. These are mine. These are my hand carved stamps. This is just playing around with an eraser and just playing. This is where the idea of uh, one of the stencils came from. So yeah, this is just hand carved stamps. Um, very simple, nothing crazy, just some different designs. Oh, I like that swirly. Let's use the swirly. All right, so we're going to use a handmade stamp. Let's see, what color do we want to use? Let's use this, and let's use, doo -doo. I'm trying to look at the, I'm looking at the stars. I like this because of this color, but I think I'm gonna have too much. So I want a darker blue, which is here, and I want a pink. You know what, I don't have a pink. Well, isn't that crazy? I have this, which is plum. That'll work. So we're gonna put that one back. All right, so we're gonna start with the cobalt. Now with the handmade stamps, of course, they don't have any sticky on them, so you can't put them on a block. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. Oops. There it is. Twirly, twirly. Let me put that one right inside that circle. Why? Just because. Twirly, twirly. All right, that looks pretty cool. see yeah, this one let's take this one and let's do some plum with it I'm just gonna push there we go we got plum on there do 
Sorry, I'm singing. Sorry. When I'm happy, I sing. There, I like that. I hope we get a focal point on this one. Oh, let's see. Put those away. This can go back in the drawer. Belongs. All right, so that was number three. Is a handmade stamp. All right. Again, if you don't have one laying around, if you're not into making homemade stamps, you don't have to. Um, that's all fine. All right. All right. Let's see. Number four is use Sharpies. I have my Sharpies right here, so let me see. What am I going to do with my Sharpies, first of all? I'm thinking. Um, Let's take a deep blue. Oh, this one's not a Sharpie. It's close enough, though. Um, I do have Sharpies over here. Let's take... Do, 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 do. This one's a Bic, I think. Yeah, that one's a Bic. We're going to use a Sharpie and a Bic. What else are we going to use? Uh, green. And another no-name Sharpie. What is this actually called? It's called a... S-T-A-U-N-I-O-N. Close enough. All right. I love the smell of Sharpies. So funny. My granddaughter, one day we were sitting there and we were arting. And uh, she was actually using my Sharpies. And she says, Grandma. I said, what, honey? These smell so good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> We're not supposed to sniff a mealy. Even though I'm right there with you, I think they smell really good, too. But she was funny. Grandma? That's one thing I do miss um, for moving down to South Carolina. I miss my girl. Um, but she's growing up really fast, and I just miss her. She's my doodle. I'm so upset. I sent her a box. Oh, I had like three or four new outfits in it, brand new leggings, um, some art supplies, a tag that I had made for her, um, all kinds of stuff in it. She never got it. I'm guessing it got stolen off the front porch of the apartment complex where her mom lives. I'm just... I'm heartbroken about it. So I'm going to have to get another one together. This one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hopefully send it to a P.O. box and maybe it won't get stolen that way. It really upsets me. You know, and I go to, to, of course we have insurance on it and all that kind of thing. So I go to the, po you know, to the post office um, to do a claim. Oh, they want receipts for everything, and, you know, when did you buy it, and how much did you pay for it? And it's like, really, are you kidding me? I mean, I don't have the receipts for everything. I just pick up stuff for her as I, you know, as I think about it or see it, and I don't save all those receipts. So, yeah, I was quite upset about that. But what can we do? sure what I'm doing here guys I'm just kind of doodling <laughs> gotta have my lumpy lumps I don't know many pages that are are, are not mine without my lumpy lumps lumpy lumps or dots I have to have them I'll tell you I'm thinking like long time from now. Anybody that picks up this journal, they're going to be like, what was she thinking? <laughs> uh, 
it was funny when I was getting ready to move um, down here. My son was at the house and he saw all the art supplies and that kind of stuff. And I said to him, I said, think, honey, when I'm gone, all this is going to be yours. <laughs> he says to me, mom, you need to start purging right now. <laughs> I said, no, I don't. <laughs> it was funny. All right. So I used Sharpies or the equivalent of Sharpies. So pretty cool so far, huh? All right. That was number four. Oops, let's put these back. Because I know me, I'll throw them here in a pile and then I'll be like, Ugh. All right, number five. Round and round we go. Where we stop is right here. Turn it upside down. I can do that. All right, so we're upside down. Huh, that was an easy one, right? I'll move this paint so I don't end up spilling it. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. We turned it upside down. Now what do we get to do? We get to use newspaper. Newspaper. Hmm. I actually have... Let me see if I can find it. I do, right here. I have this. Um, for a while, my in-laws were giving me the Sunday paper, and I would go through the paper, and, it, you know, the, the paper is the regular newspaper paper, but this comic paper, um, it's a lot stronger, so I like it. All right, so we've got newspaper. Now, what am I going to do with it? Oh, she's cute. Um, what are we going to do? Let's just, I'm going to take this puzzle. I like this puzzle. I'm going to put that on here. Oh, let's use this puzzle too. Now remember, we turned it upside down, but we're working upside down too, right? So this is considered our right side up now. Oh, look, I must have printed that. I'm going to take this piece of the puzzle. Put you there. I'll put you there. Alright, so we got newspapers. Anything else on here? But anyways, I really <laughs> I like this off the mark. I just want to take, I don't want any copyright issues. I am just going to take the words off the mark and put them right there. And the artist's name is right there, so. Um Let's see if there's anything else in here I want to use. So anyways, I was, um, like I was saying, I, I took the, um, the comics because I really like the, the weight of this paper. It's just awesome. Alright, so that's going to be our newspapers. Let's get that put down. Um, and I'm going to use, I've got this little, this is, all this is a school glue. And I was trying to find a way, um, I had to do some creating while I was in my bedroom the other day because I had some really rough pain days. And I was trying to find a different way to paint or to glue without having such a mess. So I dug through my closet and I found these bottles. Now I think I got these from American Science and Surplus. I think is the name of the company where I got them. And they weren't expensive at all. They were just, you know, cheap little bottles. So I decided to put some just plain old Elmer's or no name brand school glue in here. And I thought, you know, it might work easier instead of making such a mess. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the, the uh, jury is still out on this. I'm not sure if it's easier or if it's actually more of a pain in the butt to be honest with you, because um, sometimes you get too much paint, sometimes it strings, I don't know. You know, I just, I wanted to find an easier way to do 
a lighter glue. So, all right. We're just going to put this, whoops, get back here, you. I'll put it right here. Oops, he needs to be upside down. He needs to go like this. See, even my brain was working the other way around. All right, so there's off the mark. Okay, so we use newspaper. What's next? One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have four more, ladies and gents, if we have any gents watching. Let me put this newspaper back. Okay. While I'm doing this, I'm going to dry this really quick. We'll just dry it up. Around and around and around we go. And next, use neon paints. Hmm. Use neon paints. All right, we can do that. Doesn't say how to use them, but we can use them. Here's a neon green and a neon orange. I want green and pink. So we're going to use these. How are we going to use them? You know what? Let's use a stencil. Move my things out of the way here. I see how my desk is starting to get cluttered. I feel like I'm going to my creating space. All right. Let's see. We want to use neon paints. This is just um, a small binder I probably got in like Tuesday morning or I think Staples. This one I got at Staples for like a couple bucks. And what it has in it is it has all those stencils that I'm not really sure what to do with as far as sizes. So I just kind of stuck them all in here. Little ones, big ones. I don't know. Just odd and end stencils. So let's see, what can we do? I don't want big numbers, I don't want that. No, what about this? And then what I did is I just um, hole punched holes in the sides of them, or I just used the stencil itself to stay in the book. Yeah, this is just like an odd and end. All right, so I got this one out now. Let's see, we want to use neon paints. I'm actually going to use it on this on this um, tray thing here. And I'm going to get a sponge. Just mix them up a little bit because I don't know when the last time was I used them. Look at that green. Woo! And we're going to use the pink. Ooh, look at those pretty colors. Let's move you out of my way. This needs to come over here. All right. So we're just going to use neon paint. Why not? Doo -doo. Now, when I start doing stuff like this, Honestly, I just, I go by my intuition. If my intuition says, put this stencil over here, that's where I put it. I don't overthink it. I don't, um, you know, say, oh, well, geez, I'm going to cover up that. I'm, no, it just, this is just how it goes. I just play and I let it go wherever it needs to go. So I did that with the green. Let's find another one for the pink. Just right back in here. And as you see, I don't uh, clean my stencils. I know, bad, bad girl, but I don't. Um, I don't want rain. Upside down rain, that would be kind of cool, actually. Um, let's do... Let's do this one. Now these, um, I think these are either Dilutions or um, Dina Wakely stencils. I think it might be a Dilution. 
at one time I had this bright idea to because these are the edge is not um, straight it's not a square stencil so what I did is I decided to put this uh, masking tape all the way around it and then I punched these holes so I could put it in the binders so that's why it has tape all the way around it and as you can see I've never taken the tape off but all right so I'm going to use the other side of this sponge and we're going to start working on pink pink we're just going to throw some pink here and there gotta love pink right do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm singing again. I don't, you know, I can't help it. It makes me happy. I like it. Looks like it's got polka dots. All right. So we used a couple neon paints. See, I'm, too bad we didn't have doodle now because I could have more fun with all those shapes. This one doesn't want to stay in here. All right. So that's good. Move that out of the way. We are on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have three more to go. I almost grabbed my coffee. My coffee, and it's like really cold. But it's still good. All right. Okay, so here we go. Ready? This one. Hearts. Thinking, thinking. I know I have really cool stickers that are hearts. Hmm. Let's think. Let's think, Cindy. Let's think. Or do I want to make hearts myself? Um. Do do do. Let me go look at my sticker drawer. I know I have really, really cool hearts. Oh yeah, let's see, hearts. Do, do. Now some people are probably saying, well, why don't you just draw them? No, I don't feel like drawing them. That's the reason why. Butterflies, flowers, I got a lot of butterflies. Um, I got this little thing of hearts with that, which would actually really go cool with this. But there's other hearts I want to use. Let's put a couple of these on here just because we can. I kind of like them. Do, do. Can't have hearts without love, right? We got enough hearts on there. Man, oh man, this is like total chaos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more, guys. Yeah, I keep having to <laughs> count. <laughs> All right, number nine, glitter. <laughs> this is one I should have taken out. Um, glitter. <laughs> Let's use some glitter. This is actually um, Martha Stewart's uh, glitter acrylic craft paint. If I told you guys I'm not a huge fan of Martha Stewart. Yeah, I'm just not. It's nothing, I don't know. I don't want to say it's nothing personal. I just, eh. she doesn't, she doesn't excite me. Let's put it that way. So we're going to use glitter I 
And we're just going to make a big glitter ball. Maybe. Ooh! <laughs> yep. All right, let me grab. Stay there, glitter. Oh no! Oh no! I'm a lot of wipes. I need more wipes. Things are falling down over here. See? This is all the stuff you guys miss out on. <laughs> Everything's falling and. Good lord. All right, leave it alone. Okay. Yeah, my cart next to me, I, I need to do something with it. It's just annoying the living daylights out of me, so I gotta fix it. I just don't know. You know, it's stuff that I use pretty much on a daily basis, but it's just, I don't know, it's driving me crazy. So, there's one glitter bomb. Let's do a glitter bomb over here. A glitter ball, I should say. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave this out and let it sit and dry. Lots more on this one. Use this stuff up. You know, I bought this back when, when I first started this um, whole mixed media world. And it was like, oh yeah, I got to have that. I got to have this. I got to have that. Yeah, no, you don't need all this stuff. You know what? I'm liking how these are turning out though. It's just going to take forever and a day to dry, but that's okay. Okay. We have our glitter. Right? Oh boy. All right. This is our last one. Please don't tell me to do something really crazy. And it's going to be you. Use colored pencils. Hmm. 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 And where are my colored pencils? I wonder if I can use my Derwent and get away with it. Does that sound good? That's a colored pencil, isn't it? I think it is. I'm going to make these into squares. It's a colored pencil. I do believe that now has glitter on it. Wow, I cannot wait to see what your guys comes out looking like. This is definitely um, a strange one, guys. And, you know, like I said, I put um, some other prompts in there. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be more interesting things coming. And, you know, it's just all the luck of the draw. You know, it's whatever happens to come out is whatever I happen to end up using. So, yeah. All right, I used that color pencil. Let me turn this back around. And let's take a good look at our final product. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I love it though. You know, and the biggest thing I love about doing these is that's it. That is all I'm doing to it. I'm going to leave it be. It is what it is. Um, it's just a great place to jump and create and, and just have fun with it. Let loose. It does not have to be a masterpiece when you're done. It doesn't. Let it just be what it is. And this is what it is. All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's uh, Pick 10. I've had a lot of fun doing it. 
As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll definitely answer them for you. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching, and happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.